What's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope you guys are having a great day. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for and turn on my post notifications for future videos. Anyways guys, today I'm gonna take you through my top three inner quads exercises that you must be doing in your leg routine because simply the fact that I've been doing this for eight, uh, eight, eight years now and it has helped me grow my inner quads with these exercises. So let's get into it, let's head out to the gym. I'm gonna do a voiceover over each video explaining the form and just giving you tips and advice for each exercise. I hope you guys enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up, let's get into it. The first exercise I'm doing is elevated sumo squats. The first thing you want to do is find an elevated platform like the one you see here in this video in your gym so some dip stations have this as well if not just put two benches next to each other about three to four feet apart next you want to grab the dumbbell then squat down to 90 degrees slowly making sure you're getting full range of motion and squeeze the quads on the way up this exercise will work out your hamstrings and glutes as well but it mainly focuses on your inner thighs try to do 8 to 12 reps heavy with good form The second exercise I recommend you do for the inner quads is heels touching close stance hack squats. You can also do this on the leg press or standing using a barbell. Putting your feet closed while the heels are touching and toes pointing slightly outward will target the inner teardrop of your quads. Make sure you're going down slowly to 90 degrees getting full range of motion. Also keep constant tension on the quads and that your mind is focusing on squeezing and contracting the quads on the way up. Lastly push up through your heels and keeping your back straight. The third exercise for the inner quads that I implement in my leg workouts is toes pointing outward leg extensions. This exercise is more for definition, not muscle mass, so you don't have to go so heavy. Instead, use a weight that's heavy enough for you that you can contract and squeeze the quads on in every rep. On this one, shoot more for reps between 15 to 20 each set. Always put your mind and focus on squeezing and contracting the quads on the way up. Well, there you have it guys. Those are my top three exercises that I recommend you start implementing in your leg routines. Uh, you don't have to do all three in one setting. You could do one one week, the next week you do the other one, and the third week you do the third one. So these are the ones that I recommend. And if you have other ones that you, know, you might want me to try and give you an overview or advice or tips on how to do the form, comment below. And guys, I hope you guys like this video and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on my post notifications and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.